Good morning, everybody. I was just sitting at my desk getting ready to do some paperwork, and I thought, this just came in this week, so why not pull this out and go over it, since it is Wednesday, and we need to do updates, because everything's kind of in this, like, middle stage of production, where everything is just kind of waiting, and it's not very exciting for anybody, including us, but the ATST Empire Strikes Back version has been... The metal parts have been in production since the funding has been complete, basically, or the pre-order has been complete. So we finally got the initial metal production completely finished. So that all the ones for the kits have been sent to the factory, so those will be boxed with the kits. But then we had a bunch of additional ones sent over this to us, and these will eventually turn into kits that... Anybody who wants to build one from scratch or wants to add just an armature to their collection to sit next to their kit can order one by itself. Now, we don't have the screws yet because the factory is providing the screws and the springs and some of the accessories, so we can't offer these for sale quite yet, but I wanted to go over what they look like. So one of the key upgrades that we added to these after the fact from what you saw in the first video was we had them anodized. There's two reasons why we did that. The main reason why we did it was the rubbing factor in the stop motion aspect. The goal was to get it anodized to 100% match the base color of the ESB ATST. That did not turn out <laughs> to be the way that it was supposed to be because of the metallic finish. We asked for a flat surface and I don't think they were able to accomplish that. So that's something that we're gonna work on in the future. Um, but it still looks absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of a, it's a very light, lightish kind of gunmetal color. But what it does do is it protects the surfaces from rubbing against each other and kind of scraping. So it provides a very smooth surface. And it also looks extremely classy. So overall, we're very happy with the fit and finish of this as far as um, surface, surface texture. Some of the other things that we added that I don't know if we talked about, you guys never got to see that we added the top rack and then every single little tiny hook was designed so that it can just slide next to its little mating hump so that you're not going to have to worry about these little guys breaking because they're very prone to just kind of popping off if anything happens and you're wiggling and moving around. No breakage. We've got one of the side gun barrel, nice and machined out of aluminum. You've got your two front gun barrels machined out of aluminum. Of course, hollow. We would never make it solid. The back leg supports are still, these are unanodized because they are spring steel, and that's not something that can be anodized. Um, we did make a few adjustments to the original armature because there was some tightness in some places that we wanted to make sure was very smooth. Because once you do put paint on the metal surfaces, the paint can easily just kind of scrape off, you know, especially if you're going to be reposing this thing over and over again. Or, you know, if you really wanted to do a little stop motion video or something like that, you know, we wanted you to be able to do that. And if you have got to be touching this thing up all the time, you know, ILM probably did touch it up all the time, but we want to reduce the ability for you to have to do that. So on this piece, for example, which goes to the actual foot, it was a very tight fit. So we had them make sure that it was a very, it's a very smooth fit. There's no gap in between where the ankle goes in, but it's super smooth. So there's not going to be any rubbing. You think even when you put paint on it, there's not going to be any rubbing. So that's fantastic. And it's going to be the same thing when you put your pins in. Everything's a very, very smooth finish. So this is probably one of the best armatures, if not the best armature that has ever been produced for the mass public. So it's super, super exciting to see. 
I cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on one. Uh, very, very, very pleased with it. So, uh, again, thank you guys so much for your patience. I know this one's pretty much still on track. You know, we've got a few months left before it's going to be ready to go. It'll be out, out and done and in your hands before the end of the year for sure. But thanks guys very much, and we'll catch you on the next one.